Welcome to STEM Baba. In this video, we'll discuss the problem and conceptual exercises of Chapter Four from the book James's Walker. So let's start. So here in this question, we are given that an astronaut on the planet Zircon tosses a rock horizontally with a speed of 6.95 meter per second, and the rock falls through a vertical distance of 1.40 meter and lands horizontal distance 8.7. 5 meter from the astronaut so suppose the astronaut throws the rock like this with the initial horizontal speed to be 6.95 meter per second and the uh, the rock will follow a parabolic path something like that and this horizontal distance we are given to be 8.75 meter and the vertical distance is 1.40 meter and we need to find the acceleration due to gravity on this planet so uh, we can uh, use the equations of motion in x and y direction respectively so in the x direction we can write that x is equals to x naught plus v naught x times t plus 1 over 2 a x t square and neglecting the air resistance we can say that there is a uh, no acceleration in the x direction so this will be zero initial uh, speed in x direction is this value and initial uh, position x naught is zero here at this position x naught is zero and final position is 8.75 so from here we can find the time it took to reach the ground so x is 8.75 meter v naught x is 6.95 meter per second times t from here this t comes out to be as 1.26 seconds now we can see the motion of rock in the y direction so y would be y equals to y naught plus v naught y times t plus 1 over 2 a y t square now initially there is no component of velocity in the y direction so this whole term is zero and final position becomes zero so this is zero initial position is 1.40 meter why not we have 1.40 meter a y we need to calculate and t square t we have already calculated now let's put the values or oh, let me do one thing let me first simplify for t so this would come here this is minus y naught and this is times 2 2 i can write it here divide by this is t square that would be equals to a y now we can uh, put the values so from here a y would be equals to uh, minus 2 times y naught we have 1.40 meter and t is 1.26 second and it's whole square and on further solving we'll get the value of a y to be equals to 1.77 meter per second squared and this would be negative and negative shows that we have taken actually we have taken this direction to be positive so uh, the acceleration is in the downward direction this negative sign shows that it is in the downward direction so other way around we can write this way also that a y is 1.77 meter per second squared and in the downward direction so this would be the answer so in this question we are given that player one throws a ball horizontally towards point A with a speed 18 meter per second so it uh, throw horizontally so we can write this is v naught x we are given with 18 meter per second we have taken this direction to be x and this is the y direction now the ball reaches the second baseman 0.54 seconds later so this is basically the time of flight which is 0.54 seconds now there are two parts in this question that we need to solve in the a part we need to tell how far you from the second baseman so basically you have to uh, tell the distance between the first player and the second player this distance let it be x so for that we can use the equations of motion in the x direction so x is equals to x naught plus v naught x times t plus 1 over 2 a x t square now there is no acceleration in x direction 
this is 0 x naught we have taken to be origin so x naught is also 0 now it's pretty simple v naught x we have 18 meter per second and t in that is a time of flight is 0 0.54 seconds so from here we'll get the value of x to be 9.7 meter and this is the answer for the a part now next in the B part we need to find the distance of vertical drop AB this distance we have to find so this time we have to consider the vertical motion of the ball so we can use this equation y is equals to y naught plus v naught y times t plus 1 over 2 a y t square now since there is no vertical component of initial velocity so this v naught y is 0 this whole term is 0 y naught is also 0 because the ball is thrown from the origin now it's pretty simple a y is minus g t we know just put the values to find the answer so y equals to 1 over 2 a y minus g minus g means minus 9.81 meter per second squared times t is 0 0.54 second and its whole square on further solving we'll get this value to be 1.4 meter now this distance is approximately 4.7 feet which is substantial for uh, this player so a good uh, player will compensate by throwing the ball slightly upward so that it can reach the second player at the chest level so this is the final answer so in this question we are given that a mountain climber jumps 2.8 meter wide crevasse by leaping horizontally with a speed of 7.8 meter per second so this is basically v naught x is 7.8 meter per second the initial velocity in the x direction and there is no component of uh, velocity in the y direction because it uh, jumps horizontally so v naught y is 0 in this case and the distance between these two mountain the horizontal distance is 2.8 meter now one data we are given that the climbers direction of motion on landing is minus 45 degrees this is very important so on landing the velocity vector for the person is something like that and the angle is 45 degrees below horizontal that is why they have written as negative 45 so magnitude if we take it is just 45 degrees below horizontal this is x direction and this is the y direction now if the angle is 45 degrees then we can say that the component of velocity in the y direction is same as the component of velocity in the x direction because this is angle is 45 degrees if you take tangent 45 this is 1 that means we can say that on landing uh, v y would be equals to v x now since v y is downward so if you take the uh, the actual value it should be negative vy and that should be equals to vx or if you take the magnitude vy will be equals to vx we can write this way and in projectile motion there is no we generally don't consider the air drag so this uh, velocity in the x direction will remain constant throughout the motion so vx will be equals to v naught x which is 7.8 meter per second right and thus this vy this would be minus 7.8 meter per second why we have taken minus because it is downward this is vy this is vx now we can solve these two parts very easily in the a part we need to find the height difference between the two sides of a crevasse basically this height h we have to find and then where does the climber land so this x this horizontal distance where it lands on this second mountain this is what we have to calculate okay so first i'm going to solve the a part where we have to calculate the difference of height between the sides of two crevasse so we can use this equation v y equals to uh, v naught y plus a y times t v naught y is the initial velocity in the y direction which is zero so that is zero from here t would be equals to v y over uh, a y and a y in this case is minus g so this we can write as minus g now we can put all the values to find the value for time 
vy we have minus 7.8 meter per second and this is negative 9.81 meter per second squared so from here we'll get the value of t to be equals to 0 0.80 seconds now then basically we have to find this h for that uh, let's use this equation now which is y equals to uh, y naught plus v naught y times t plus 1 over 2 a y t square position as a function of time now a y naught is uh, the initial position which is h here and final position is y here the y becomes 0 so this becomes 0 here so 0 equals to this is h v naught y is 0 this whole term is 0 and this is 1 over 2 a y is minus g and t square so from here uh, we'll get the expression for h to be equals to 1 over 2 g t square now pretty simple we are just simply we have to put the values h 1 over 2 g is 9.81 uh, meter per second squared t is 0 0.80 seconds and its whole square and on further solving this would be 3.1 meter therefore the difference of height between the two mountains is 3.1 meter h value we have obtained next where does the climber land this horizontal distance we have to calculate it's very simple so for the b part uh, we can use the equations of motion in the x direction x is equals to x naught plus v naught x times t plus 1 over 2 a x t square there is no acceleration in x direction whole term 0 x naught 0 because initially this is here x naught is 0 then uh, v naught x v naught x we are given to be 7.8 so this is 7.8 meter per second time is 0 0.8 seconds x we can easily find from here so this value comes out to be as 6.2 meter so this total value is uh, 6.2 meter right does uh, the person land 6.2 meter away from the first mountain or if you uh, find this distance uh, this one this distance would be 6.2 minus 2.8 that is 3.4 meter so the person land 3 point meter beyond the edge of the second mountain so here in this question we are given that a child is standing on the top of the tower which is 9 meter high and this is a bull's eye which is 3.5 meter away from the uh, this tower now uh, the child throws a ball horizontally with some speed v naught that we have to calculate so that the ball hits the bull's eye it's pretty simple question we'll uh, go into uh, see the motion of the ball in the vertical and horizontal direction separately so in the vertical direction we're going to use the uh, the position as a function of time equation which is y equals to y naught plus v naught y times t plus 1 over 2 a y t square now the ball is thrown horizontally so this is 0 v naught y is 0 now and we are taking that this is our coordinate system let me first define this this is the coordinate system this is the initial position so let this is be h which we are given to be 9 meter so i'm just putting y naught as h final position becomes 0 because here the y becomes 0 this is 0 plus uh, 1 over 2 a y is minus g times t square now from here we can easily find the expression for t time of flight t would be under root 2h divide by g now we can uh, put the values so under root 2 times h is 9 meter g is 9.81 meter per second squared and on for the solving we'll get the value of time to be equals to 1.35 seconds so we have calculated the uh, time of flight but what we have to calculate this initial speed v naught and we know that in projectile motion the horizontal speed remains constant because we are not considering the air drag so uh, in the horizontal motion the position as a function of time is x equals to x naught plus v naught x times t plus 1 over 2 a y t square 
acceleration sorry this is a x t square and acceleration in x direction is zero so this whole term is zero x naught is zero because at this position x naught is zero and the final position for x is 3.5 meter so this is 3.5 meter and v naught x we have to find so v naught x times t is 1.35 seconds so from here v naught x comes out to be as 2.6 meter per second so the the child should throw the ball with a speed of 2.6 meter per second horizontally so that it can reach or it can hit the bull's eye so here in this question we are given that a swimmer runs horizontally of a diving boat with a speed of 3.32 meter per second so basically this is the initial speed in the horizontal direction v naught x this is 3.32 meter per second this is our x direction this is the y now uh it hits the water a horizontal distance of 1.78 meter from the end of the boat so this distance is what they are saying that this is 1.78 meter now there are two parts in this question that we need to solve uh, in the a part we need to find how high above the water was the diving board so this vertical distance h uh, we have to find in the a part so it's a projectile motion we are going to deal the horizontal and vertical motion separately so in the horizontal direction the velocity will remain same throughout the motion so we can use this equation x equals to x naught plus v naught x times t plus 1 over 2 a x t square since there is no drag or there is no acceleration in x direction this term is 0 a x is 0 x naught initial position x naught is also 0 because here x naught is 0 now final position is 1.78 meter as equals to v naught x is 3.32 meter per second and from here we can find this value t t comes out to be as 0 0.536 seconds but our aim was to calculate the vertical distance h for that we are going to consider the vertical motion so we can use this equation y equals to y naught plus v naught y times t plus 1 over 2 a y t square since uh, there is no component of velocity in the vertical direction initially so v naught y is 0 whole term is 0 y naught we have h here this is the initial position which is equals to h so y naught we can take it to be h and the final position y becomes 0 here y is 0 and uh, plus 1 over 2 a y is minus g times t square from here the expression for h would be equals to 1 over 2 g t square you can put the values now find the answer so 1 over 2 g is 9.81 meter per second squared times t square so t is 0 0.536 seconds and it's square so from here we'll get the value of h to be equals to 1.41 meter so this is the answer for the a part now next uh, in the b part what they are asking is if the swimmer runs off the board with reduced speed does it take more time less or same time to reach the water now suppose uh, swimmer uh, runs with less uh, horizontal speed let it be one meter per second in the horizontal direction then would the time of flight be changed and the answer is no that will not going to change because the vertical motion of the projectile is independent of the horizontal motion you might have a confusion that if you put one v naught x as one here you will get a different t no this time this x will also going to change thus the t would remain same or in other way around you can uh, think in this manner also that the the vertical motion and the horizontal motion is independent so it takes the same time to reach the water so time taken is same even if even if this v naught x becomes zero then also this uh, time taken would be same that means if if he jumps vertically with no velocity then also this time taken would also be same now in this question we are given that a basketball is thrown horizontally with an initial speed of 4.2 meter per second 
So initially this is V naught X which is 4.20 meter per second. Now the question is saying a straight line drawn from the release point to the landing point makes an angle 30 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees with the horizontal. Now we need to find the release height. This height we have to find. Now let me use some mathematics here. Let this be triangle A, B, C. Now if this height is H, let this uh, horizontal distance be B. Now this is a right angle triangle. So we can write that tangent 30 degree is H over B. From here this B would be equals to H over tangent 30 which is equals to under root 3H. Now let's try to find out the time of flight by considering the horizontal motion of the ball and the vertical motion of the ball. Now by considering the horizontal motion we can write that x is equals to x0 plus v0 x times t plus 1 over 2 ax t square. One more thing let me define the coordinate system also. So this is our coordinate system. This is x direction. This is the y direction. Now initially x0 is 0. This is 0. ax there is no air diag nothing. So ax or the acceleration in the x direction this is 0. Now uh, the final position is B and B we have calculated to be under root H uh, under root 3H so under root 3H is equals to V naught is 4.20 times T so from here the expression for T is equals to under root 3H divided by 4.20 now let's try to find the time of flight by using the vertical motion so for that Y equals to Y naught plus v naught y times t plus 1 over 2 a y t square right now initially there is no component of velocity in the vertical direction so v naught y is 0 and y naught here y naught is h so this is h the y becomes 0 at this point so this is 0 plus 1 over 2 a y is minus g times t square so from here we'll get the expression for uh, time of flight t to be equals to under root 2h over g. Now both these two t should be same. So we can equate these two equation 1 and 2. So that would be under root 3h divided by 4.20 is equals to under root 2h divided by g. Now squaring both the sides 3h square divided by 4.20 and it's whole square is equals to 2h divided by g is 9.81 and uh, from here this h and this h will cancel only one h is left we can easily find the value of h and it comes out to be as 1.20 and since all these value we have put in the si units the value of h will come into meters so 1.20 meter thus the football was thrown with a height of 1.20 meter